This exhibition, Solar Concentration in Physics and Crafts, takes you through the research conducted by myself, Karen Westland, and I'm in my second year of PhD research. The aim of this event is to raise discussion around collaborative work between the arts and science to better understand the opportunities created when both disciplines combine. The research explores solar concentration for scientific and craft purposes. The two key goals are to improve the efficiency of a solid state neodymium YAG solar laser through making custom compound parabolic concentrators, also known as CPCs, and to explore the potential of solar concentration within craft. Reflection will be made on this amalgamation of methodology and practice to explore what potential might be lying between the disciplines. In this exhibition, we have a variety of things. Silverware inspired by science, optics and lasers, a solar laser mounted on a tripod, and the tests I created during this experimental research project. Crafting custom items takes trial and error, and this exhibition exposes the whole process, from the fundamental physics, sketched ideas, videos of me at work in the lab, workshop and outside, material tests, the characterisation of samples and the refining process where more promising results have started to emerge. This allows the viewer to see the narrative of how I went from A to B to break the illusion of not knowing how research is performed. The research exhibition is hosted within the university to encourage students from different disciplines to engage with an interdisciplinary approach to solve overarching problems such as renewable energy solutions and sustainable craft processes in my case. This was a great midway point in the project to share the research with fellow academics and conduct interviews with the staff members I'd been working with to gain feedback on what had worked well and to progress with an informed plan moving forward. This research has been very stimulating for me. In physics and jewellery, we work with the same materials, silver, gold, diamonds, rubies, sapphires and so on, just in different ways. The two disciplines are much more closely related than meets the eye, and this project aims to explore this area of great potential.